Hey, welcome to this week on Let's Fix Her Up. I am your host, Mike Jamison, and uh, starting to get some projects done here. I just kind of wanted to show this off a little bit here. Finally got our uh, fish tank up and running again. Had a little issue with it uh, and uh, had to completely dismantle and put it all together. We got that back rolling. Going to start putting the fish in there real soon. We'll do that here on Let's Fix Her Up. Hey, this week we'll be uh, talking with Jill Bench. Uh, Debbie out in uh, Millbury, Ohio, uh, sent us an email and was asking about different types of soils because uh, she's getting ready to uh, you know start thinking about springtime and as you're watching this hopefully the weather's a little warmer than it is when I'm shooting this and uh, uh, Jill's gonna be uh, out at Bench's Greenhouse talking about that we'll also be with uh, Marty uh, Ben talking about some of the things that uh, you need to do uh, to, to get that money together because it, it's time it's time to start spending some money and make things look really really cool and uh, finishing up out at uh, Gladio do it best Ronnie is completely redoing uh, Gladio's Do It Best out there on Navarre Avenue and the whole inside is going to be beautiful when it's done and I uh, thought we'd talk a little bit about that. Now I want to start reminding people that uh, May 1st, or it's actually the first Sunday in May, we'll be starting our new show uh, Lake Erie Port of Call and that'll be spotlighting area businesses involving boating. We're going to be taking the boats out. We're going to be all over Lake Erie and uh, showcasing that all over the summer, 16 weeks. And while we're doing that, um, I'm actually going to be gutting my kitchen. I'm going to be doing some work here. Uh, have all these projects ready, and we'll have some of them on Facebook, so you'll be able to watch it there. And then we'll have a brand new season uh, starting uh, the first week of September for uh, Let's Fix Her Up. So. You all have a good one and enjoy the show. We're out at uh, Bench's Greenhouse out here in uh, Elmore, Ohio with Jill. How you doing, dear? Great. How are you? Well, it's a little early, but I t I'll tell you what. We, we made a special effort to come out here today. Debbie, uh, one of our viewers, it was the first time she ever watched the show, and she's like, oh, my God, I love it. I'm going to watch it. And now we've become texting partners back and forth. She's uh, She lives out by uh, Chippewa Golf Course. And she's like, I everything I grow it, it doesn't grow the, the soil must be really bad out there are you familiar with uh, the soil out in the Millbury area we have a lot of customers out that way but this area of Northwest Ohio period is very full of clay and it is very hard for people to deal with but there are some steps that they can take to alleviate problems growing in the soil and I think that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today you know that's it it's still a little early everything's still frozen and uh, you're not putting the boats in the water now you're not going to be out there digging but this is that time where you really want to think about it you know I got this giant yard and this is the year we're going to put a watering system in even though I live in Wood County I'm still going to do this because I'm sick of it going gray on me every every July uh, but it is hard as concrete and and the same thing because we've got a lot of flower beds too we want to use and do things with and it's it, everything that I bought from you I was telling you a geranium I, this is my third season on this giant geranium and I just put it in my office and it's already blooming it's so cool but if you plant it it doesn't seem to want to do it so I must have the same problem she does uh, this area is very well noted for clay. Right here in Elmore, Ohio, we're very blessed with some very deep, dark, rich soil, but all around us is nothing but clay. All right, well, give us some ideas on some of the things that she's going to be able to do once, I, wait, what they're saying, by the time this airs, we're supposed to be in the, at least the 40s. So you can get out there and do some stuff then? Uh, uh, probably not quite yet. <laughs> a little bit early. I just listened to her. Early. Okay, so what are, we, what, are, what are some of the things she wants to do this year to get everything ready? Well, first thing you have to know is when you're dealing with clay soil, it is an ongoing process. It is not going to be a one-time fix and my soil is done. You have to, to initially, to redo your entire bed, you should dig down 12 inches mm -hmm. and turn everything over that you can. Okay. So that is to initially do a bed. But you, you can keep it there and then you're gonna to add to that. You, you need to add to gotcha. it, you need to add organic matter, whether it be compost. If you do your own compost, make sure it's aged compost. You need to add manure. If you do your own 
you know, if you have Not a farm, your own manure, if, well, <laughs> if you have a farm and you, and gotcha, you do your gotcha, own manure, gotcha. it also needs to be aged manure. <laughs> okay. It has to be aged. Um, uh, fresh compost and fresh manure has too much nitrogen and will burn everything in the oh. in the soil. And you ha have to work that in. Also, it's very important with clay soil that you mulch. Mulch um, can act as biodegradable and okay. help break up the soil. But the type of mulch that you choose with clay soil is also very important. You don't want to use your colored mulches. Make sure you use an organic mulch like cypress or hardwood. Oh, there you go. That's something I'm going to do because I've always used the color ones. And, uh, and, and this is the year where I'm really going to get everything cleaned up looking. We pulled a ton of old evergreens out and just nasty stuff. And we put a little cherry tree in that's doing real nice. And uh, it's going to take a while before that gets to be something uh, real. But it's beautiful. It's really nice. But I think what people have to realize, are there certain plants then that are going to work better in the soils? Absolutely. Absolutely. See, I know. I know. I know what to ask this woman. Yes. Some, some perennials that work very well in clay soil are daylilies. Okay. Um, the most common daylily is the yellow Stella Deoro. Every daylily that we grow here at Benches Greenhouse is a rebloomer, so it's going to bloom more than once for you in the oh, season. Wow. That's not everywhere, but I can speak for benches. For what They're yours all rebloomers. Mm -hmm. Um, day lilies will bloom the end of June and again in August. Okay. And very beautiful flowers. Um, another perennial that you could plant very popular right now is a budlia, a butterfly bush. Mm. A lot of people have trouble with their butterfly bushes because they think that they don't come back. But the truth of the matter is a butterfly bush is one of the last things to break in the summer. So sometimes they don't even show leaves till the first of June and everyone's digging them up and bringing them back and saying that they've died oh. when really they just haven't come out of dormancy Giving them time. yet. Now do you, um, I, a lot of, and, and I've got them too, those ornamental grasses and things like that. This year I've, I've left, I didn't touch them. That's I let the them right die. thing to do. There you go. I had somebody tell me uh, that, oh no, no, we cut them down. Uh, and I go, but doesn't that, give them trouble then? Absolutely. The problem, with, a lot of people cut them down because they don't want the winter, the winter color, um, whether it be just rustling right, right. leaves or whatever. But the problem with that is your grasses, your roses, they have, they have canes and ice and snow or boars can get down in and freeze out or cause damage while they're eating your plant. Well, that's that's the one thing I was I was really worried about that. Well, I'm gonna be working with you now. Uh, once again, folks, remember, we're gonna do Let's Fix Her Up until the 1st of May, then we start our boating show. So I'll get you and the hubby out there, get Danny <laughs> out there uh, and driving a boat and having some fun. Uh, but uh, I want to, I'm gonna kind of picture everything out for you so you can see because it's a lit, mine's a blank slate. There's just, there's nothing there since we took all the evergreens out and we took all of that out. It's a blank slate. And I'm not real good at making blank slates do something. So it's going to be up to Jill. Absolutely. We can help you do that. I just want to tell you about another really okay. quick fix. Let's say you don't want to start over and you have an established bed and you don't want to have to take out everything that is actually growing there because there are several bushes and trees and shrubs right. that will grow. Um, and check our, check our Facebook page, check our Pinterest. We have pages specifically geared for clay soil that you can get some information oh, from. I would love that. But you have a little area that you want to make sure something grows in, like your geranium. Here's a really quick fix. Once the, once the ground is unfrozen this spring, go out and dig a hole big enough to put a large, inexpensive plastic pot down in. Right. Okay? Buy another inexpensive plastic pot you're going to plant whatever color you want, whatever annual you want in this pot, and it will sit right down in there for the growing season. Come fall, when you're done, you take this out. This stays in the ground. You don't have to worry about the clay soil oh. because you've got an excellent potting mix in this wow. pot growing your annual flowers. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, like I said, my geranium, I love that plant. I've, I've got some fig trees from you that have done really well. and. Uh, and I've got a lot of sun for them. And I, I, did, I did do something. I, I ordered a, a lemon tree, a lime tree, and a mandarin orange tree. I did this. I shouldn't have, but I did. I, I'm really excited about it because I do have an area during the wintertime where this thing can grow. Then hopefully during the summertime, you can put them outside. 
Do you recommend that a lot, uh, you know, with some of your more expensive plants and things? Can you can you do that with this then, this Absolutely. setup? Absolutely. There you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. See, I'm learning. The thing that you need to watch with some of your tropicals, which what you're talking about are tropicals, a lot of people will winter over their mandevillas or their palms. You need to make sure that you, you take care of any insects. Oh. They are very susceptible to insects. So before you bring them in in the fall, give them a good spray outside. Do you have that spray here? Absolutely. Spray. There you go. Absolutely. And if you are into organic pest control, there are certainly some very good recipes online that deal with Dawn dish soap and some bleach right, right. that you can make yourself. Wow. Fantastic. Well, the growing season has started here at Benches and uh, it's we came in, actually, our camera was fogging up. It was so humid in here, but it felt so good. I was telling Jay, our cameraman, I go, I would just want to pitch a tent just to sleep here for a week, just to clean my sinuses out. It would just be incredible. So, I mean, probably the next two, three weeks, people are going to start knocking on the doors, huh? Well, we certainly have seeds available right now. And if you're in, we have seeds start a soil. So if you're into gardening, mm -hmm. you certainly could start in a, and a toilet like, paper tube, like yep, you said, yep, or even in an egg carton. Mm -hmm. You can certainly start your seeds inside. I didn't even think about an um, egg carton. We yeah. have herbs available right now. You can always grow culinary herbs on your on your windowsills and also succulents. I always tell people too, if you've got one of them steamers for your corn, when you steam your corn, it's got a little thing there so you can put some herbs in there, herbs, herbs. Uh, I always put mint in mint? there. And it makes the corn taste like you're eating candy. It's so good. Thank you for spending You're some welcome. time with us. You're welcome. Benches Greenhouse out here in Elmore. I, they got some nice stuff already starting. I know. I'm, I'm just getting early. <laughs> I'm getting antsy. I'm antsy. But it's beautiful in here. And if you just want to come in here and breathe, I feel better already. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's, 419-698-1641. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted a BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Hi there, I'm Nick with A Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A Plus Building Maintenance, 419-478-1542. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. Well, folks, we're here over at Marty Bin's house, this beautiful house that's handmade. Kind of. You did a lot of this work. Hand, hand, uh, hand remade. Hand remade. Yes. And, you know, as we, as we go I here. I wasn't alive when it was built the first time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, neither one of us were. Oh, uh, you're pretty close. 64? Uh, oh, no, I was 63. Yeah. Okay. So well, I, there you go. You were alive when Folks, it was I am an old 
Old man, I am, I am. But it's beautiful what you did, and and you know a lot of the stuff we're talking about. We're we, with Jill Bench uh, talking about uh, you know soil and things, and I know that's that's not your thing, but it is your thing. It's my it's my guilty pleasure. Yes. <laughs> he has all of these little pots around here, and everything's all got little sprouts coming up, and that's what May first of May is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll put the greenhouse, the, the heavy snow will be done. I'll put the greenhouse out. And, and then you can put everything out there. Everything will go out there. And Very nice. Put a little heater out there. Is that one of them like $400 deals that you can Not get? Not even that. Really? No. Did you made it yourself? Of course kinda, you did. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Well, go ahead. Well, I was going to th- thank you because our last episode about credit, I had a lot of response. And one of the popular questions was about paying extra on a house. And I thought it'd be a really nice one to follow up as part okay. of the topic. So people all the time ask me, what about this bi-weekly thing? Or what right, about right, this? yeah. Like so so the, the bi-weekly is really a, a gimmick. Okay. Um, it, it's a successful gimmick, but it, it's not anything fancy in of itself. If your house payment's 1000 bucks, they take out 500 every two weeks. And what people forget is there's 26 bi-weekly periods in a year, not 24. Uh-huh. So if you take out 526 times, that's $13,000 a year instead of $12,000 a year. Mm-hmm. That extra 1000 then is applied to principal and it pays your loan off faster. On average, on a 30-year fix with rates about today, it knocks between seven and nine years off. So it'll take a 30-year note down wow. by about a third. That's what everybody does. It. Wow, that's great, that's awesome. Here's the problem sometimes. In fact, uh, one of the people I talked to um, that called with some questions, I, I hate to say this, but they've been goofing up because on top of doing the bi-weekly, every year when they get their tax refund, they plow it on their tax refund. And it seems awesome because they've got their house paid down, but they were calling about doing some borrowing against our equity, which is what you were, I'm, yeah, it's, it's what we were kind of going to talk about, right. what we started talking about last time. And, and here's the mistake. While they've been doing that for the last five and a half, six years, they've been carrying balances on credit cards. Uh-huh. So, so, so the simple trick is not, it's not really complicated at all. <laughs> 29% interest or... If you want to know what debt you should yeah. pay extra on this month, right. don't write down the balances and don't write down the payments. Mm-hmm. Write down the rate. 29 is more than 26. 26 is more than 18. 18 is more than 12. 12 is more than not, right? I mean, it's right. So they've been paying extra on their 4.25, I know because I helped them with their mortgage, 4.25 tax deductible mortgage at the expense of carrying debts that average about 19%. So they now they, and they've done a lot of improvements around their house, which is kind of how this right, right. happened, right? They've got appliances, they've got all this other stuff, and the average rate's about 19%. <sighs> oh. so, so, the, so over the last five years, they've been paying 19 and pay an extra on four and a quarter. <laughs> now see again, when, you, when I say it that way, it's Yeah, so now simple. it's like, yeah, right. And, and now they're, they're calling to borrow that back to pay it off, and I'm saying all you really would have, yeah, but then we'd have our house for longer. No, because you could have had zero credit cards, and then you could really be walloping the house payment. So, so the bi-weekly doesn't really change your rate, it's mm-hmm. just paying extra. And it's not that I'm saying paying extra is bad on your house. What I'm saying is don't pay extra at four when you could have paid extra at yeah. 14 or 18 20, right. or 19 and Mike it's ever I, I see it all the time I see people that do that and then they have an equity line the equity lines at seven or eight mm-hmm. and they don't pay extra on the equity line because they want to get the my favorite one well if I just didn't have the house payment then I could pay off all that other stuff yeah not good not it's, good it's, it's, a, it's a math fail well I'll tell you we're you know we're uh, uh, Let's Fix Your Up is going to take a hiatus starting here May 1st for a real good reason. We're doing our Lake Erie Port of Call show, and uh, I'm going to need a lot of help when I go driving around all on the boat. I'm sure you and you know anything to do with boating in this area. I, uh, I've spent a lot of time out there, but, <laughs> but I don't know that you, I'm not, I don't know that I'm uh, the right Marty and Mike on the boat, you know, that's, uh, there's a cartoon to follow on Fox or something. <laughs> no, they made a series about what might happen. It was called Gilligan's Island. Oh, they, yeah. And, they, 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 uh, Mike and Marty on a three-hour uh, tour. But we're going to spotlight how to do everything. But this is my first step out of being a you know a UPS driver where I had unlimited funds and credit up to here and then all of a sudden I started my own business I had no credit I had this I that now all of a sudden I can get credit anywhere even though my my credit numbers aren't where I want them at yet but they've improved I mean every day Mike we've got a fifteen hundred dollar pre-approved this and I just rip it up I got one I keep it around two to three hundred bucks everything's cool and my life seems to have gotten a lot smoother now but what we're going to do for this boat got a great deal on the boat um, we're actually going to dip into the equity on our house right. and that's it's a very popular way to borrow and it's a very um, cost effective way because that house is collateralized and any loan that's collateralized is going to be 
cheaper than other right. options in most cases. And um, collateralized loans, in, in the same way, I, I've had people call me and they want to do this or that, and I've said, hey, don't you own your boat free and clear? And mm -hmm. because they want a small amount of money, it's cheaper just to go ahead and get a boat loan. Oh, but yeah. A, but a collateralized boat loan is cheaper than a non-collateralized loan. Right. And so, so in most cases when you're buying, that's true of car loans, boat loans, even even things like jet skis and things like anything with a title that can be collateralized is going to be cheaper borrowing than unsecured debt. So I'll be in good shape then if I'm taking it out on my house, getting a much better interest rate on the house, and and obviously there's a title with the boat too. So that and that so you'll have another asset. So Very you, cool. So you, now, do you guys do those kind of loans and things like that? We we, um, we do equity lending. Um, it's not our primary business, and right now it's not as popular as it was because uh, short term rates have stayed high. Uh, and longer term rates have been low. So we're seeing a lot of people that want to consolidate their current, in fact, I have a closing, I'm leaving here to go to a closing tonight and they've helped some kids through college. Oh and, yeah. And they did that intelligently. They don't have any other debt, they've got perfect credit, but they've, they've used the equity line to put the kids through college. But that equity loan rate's now at seven and a half, eight percent. Their yeah. first mortgage is around four. Well, we can put the whole thing together at four now, uh, yeah. put it down to a 15 and pay the whole thing off. And so basically they're taking 75, dollars that was at seven and a half and dropping it down to four. Well, that's a couple thousand dollars a year in interest savings, and, and it converts it over to being deductible because equity lines aren't deductible in the same way that they used to be. See, what you're doing is you're doing a redo, not, uh -huh. not a true new line of credit that's a second mortgage. Right. And that, that changes the deductibility. So first mortgages are more deductible by far now than equity lines. It used to be they could both be. So you're, you're doing that's good. Way. That's good. That's good. Well, I appreciate all that you've done for us. We're going to have you out on the boat, of course, and everything we're going to do. And as we get a little bit more into spring, spring here, we're going to show some of your uh, your little stuff that you're doing here. Little stuff. It's gorgeous, folks. It, it, it really is. Uh, uh, talk a little bit. Uh, give us your, uh, your address and everything over at Fairway. Uh, easiest way is just text me or call me on my cell phone, 419-461-0667, because it's always attached to my hip. It is. It really is. You can always get a hold of Marty. That's a good thing. Now I say that, you know, and here you, here you go. <laughs> we'll be right back. Marty here. Uh, it's spring buying season's right around the corner. In fact, now is the best time to get started. Uh, gives us a little lead time. If there's things we need to tweak, we can get on it right away. Remember, those credit inquiries don't affect your score any more than they will if you uh, check later. So one inquiry, uh, whether it's now and then again in the spring, uh, still only counts as one, won't hurt your score. Uh, we helped three customers this week improve their score by an average of 30 points. So reach out now and let's get that started. 419-461-0667 uh, or marty.bin, B-I-H-N, at fairwaymc.com. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. Gladio Home Center. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. We're here with uh, Ron Gladio and the whole gang out here, and I got to tell you one thing. I hope I never have to see one of these again. Yes. But this thing, I literally could do, that's the heaviest shovel. It doesn't bend, does it? No, that's a steel shovel, Mike. Wow. That's for somebody that wants to show it's going to last a long time. Well, you know what I could use it for since it's still really cold out? All the dog poop in my backyard, it's frozen, it would just cha-ching through it. See, you never thought I was going there, did you? I got you? no answer for that. I, I figured you might, but I had no uh, answer for that. Hey, right we're going to walk around. I got my cameraman here with us today. 
Look now, this is so. You, you've made this area. This is the main area as you walk in here now, right? With the with yeah, all it's the from mowers. the back. Yep, from the back, all the mowers and stuff will be in here. All your steel products, and then uh, the pet has been moved up to the front of the store as you walk in. So it's more convenient for the customer. Fantastic. Come in, get what they want, and get out. It's all about you know the customer trying to make a better experience for them, make it cleaner, nicer. Sure. So, and easier to, to look at the things yeah, that they need. It should too. be easier to shop, and uh, yeah, it's going to be super nice. We're all excited about it. How 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 much more? Uh, what what are you what are you thinking? Another couple of weeks, or yeah, about three weeks. Three well, weeks. The, yeah, we should have this wrapped up here in about a week. The rest of this, the grills will go back here behind the minus the, one. Uh, minus one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, gr the grills are going to go back here where that floor will get tore up a little bit yet. Sure. And then they're going to be right with the outdoor power. So we never had a space for grills any before. So it'd be nice now to have a dedicated space for them. Right, right. So people can come in and take a look at everything we and have. You know, I, I, I went over to the big the big stores, you know, with the Weber grills and everything, mm -hmm. and you are 100% right. It, yeah. It's like they're different than right. what you guys are doing. Yeah, and, and price-wise, price we're, yeah, we're the same price as them. Or better. Yeah, or better, and then we're setting it up for you. I mean, if something happens, we're here exactly. for you. Yep, yep. I mean, we've been, you know, we're, this is our 81st year in business, which we're pretty happy about, oh, excited about. Look at that you know? Thing. No, I know. Ronnie does our it's, basketball. It's the water games here. Too. It's the water oh, it's here. It's the water yes. in Oregon. I yes. would say yes. It's you don't water. live in Ross. Keeps you young. So. Yes, but uh, so but you're still wide open. You can come out here. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Bar Avenue, uh, just out a little bit. Ronnie's gonna be doing the Genoa game with us. Uh, the uh, so the stretch game with us in basketball this yep. week. I love doing basketball games with him. He does say, go to ToledoSportsNetwork.com. He and I have a blast when we do the games. So, uh, looking yeah, looking forward. forward to it, absolutely. Yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah. And people, they, they call him coach now. He's coach. So, <laughs> now in the next few weeks, uh, we'll be doing, you know, laying down the, uh, the crab, cr crab crew event, a crab crab. Yeah, you need to get it up, you know, you, we don't want, probably another two or three weeks for crabgrass preventer. Okay. Usually you want to have it down by tax day, April 15th. If it's not down by then, if you start getting temperature in the 60s consistently, right. the crabgrass is going to pop. So it's a pre-emergency. You want to get it down before the crabgrass. Right, well, so you're going to want to get that down anywhere for probably another week or so up to, you know, first week April. And aeration, good time or not a good time? Fall or spring. Okay. Not We're a bad time to aerate. You can aerate now. Well, we had Jill Bench on today. Yeah, and today it's a good time to aerate and overseed right. either fall or spring. Well, we had so. Jill Bench on today, and I had a, a lady, Debbie, who emailed us that was talking about she lives in the Millbury area, and uh, her, her soil is terrible. You know, it's mm -hmm. clay, just like mine. Now, right. I got that big front yard there, and you know, when you get a lot of rain with it, and you cut it, it's like it's like a it's a beautiful mm. golf course. But last year, you know, we just uh, we needed to we need a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna aerate again. I'm actually gonna put a water system in too. I don't. Just like they do on a golf course, you can aerate, put some sand there. They make a soil conditioner. It's a little bit of work though. You gotta spread it around, and it'll fill in the. Pockets. You can help me with that. Yeah, I'll watch oh, you do boy. it. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Uh, I can sit in the car and watch you do it all day long. <laughs> Thank you. So all much. right, no problem, man. Like always, the man, the myth. The legend, Ron Gladio at Gladio Do It Best. Well, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we will uh, be back with a brand new show for you next week. And uh, once again, thanks once again for watching what we're doing here. And uh, just trying to make sure you learn a lot about the local businesses in the area. And if your business would like to be part of it, give us a call at 419-514-1302. Hey, we'll see you next week.